Hi, it's Motivation Monday, and I want to begin by thanking my friend Bradley because he's the one that actually motivated me to film something for today based on the conversation that we had just a little while ago. And that had to do with what actually motivates each of us. And for me, the first one, the first thing is my experience. I've had a really interesting batch of experiences over my life. In fact, he called me um, called me six billion dollar blady today because of the fact that yeah, I used to be responsible for a six billion dollar budget and everything that came with it. It was really interesting to see how someone else framed uh, that experience and how they saw it as the outside and where I had to show up and what I had to do. Because I can tell you, when I was in the thick of it, it was just what I had to do. And I am grateful for the experience because it's grounded in the other two things that motivate me. It's not just my experience and the fact that I did bring my mental health experience and the empathy that came with that experience to make changes to help other people based on my own experience. And so I think that's something that good leaders do is they bring their empathy to the equation. But then the other thing that I loved about that particular job and what was part of my Motive, what my motivation even now is collaboration. I love working with people to see what it is that we can get accomplished and that I love to work with people because the things that we can bring together, we can amplify each other's experience. We can amplify each other's expertise. And so that's one of the things I love doing right now is going from collaborating with folks in departments and health authorities and with professionals like doctors and nurses and firefighters and paramedics and all the different folks that I worked with. Well, now I get to collaborate with business leaders and I get to collaborate with organizations and see what it is that we can do to take what it is that they want to accomplish, especially in the, again, the case of mental health in the workplace and amplify it. And then the final thing, and again, it's a thread that runs through all of this, is reframing. So much of what I have been able to bring to the table in my elected life and previous to that in my academic life had to do with reframing something. And so I do that with mental health. I find assets where other folks see liabilities, but reframing is also a way that we can find those assets and find opportunities in things that we consider obstacles. And that's one of the things that motivates me. So that's part of the value that I bring to any workplace that I work in and that I come to help and support in my current role as a consultant and it's a key theme in my keynoting and my workshop work is how we can reframe things and find assets in places that we often consider liabilities or the phrase that my political staff loved you know is this an obstacle or an opportunity we make the choice and so I'm looking forward to working with more of you and seeing what kinds of reframing and collaboration that we can do together to create mentally healthy workplaces, whether it's through, again, a keynote, a program, a live event, uh, the online work that I do. I'm looking forward to connecting with more of you and take care. And I hope you have a motivating Monday too. Bye.